guys welcome back welcome to this advanced level framework development series of selenium uh video number 15 here and uh, i'm going to continue with uh, data driven test case creation and how, how to execute them in parallel okay so this parallel stuff we are done mostly and uh, in this quick video not a quick it is going to be like 20 minutes of video i'm going to cover about a uh, data driven test so what i'm going to show here you is I have one scenario, uh, the test case I have already talked to you guys, uh, navigate to the application, logged in, create tasks, select the project and just select some data and fill up the data, save it. Uh, this do the same thing for another type of condition called as defect and uh, fill the data and do the stuff. Okay, so that's the uh, test case. So in this particular test, I have four tasks, login, create task then once the task is created i am going to verify the task in ui table and once it is done i am going to verify db let me show you that manually what and all i am going to do so this is the user what i am going to use so let me go to my application and uh, here let me okay okay so what i'll do here, what i'll do is i'll go to task I'll click on add task and I'll select some project and uh, then I need to fill up this data what is my type what's the status what's the name what's the priority label uh, description with whom uh, who has created to whom it is assigned to time attachments and all those stuff once I click on save it is going to create entry into my db before db once the task is created what we'll do is we'll go to this view all option and under this view all option currently you don't see any task okay so here we will verify so here we'll not directly come to the table and verify but we need to search it because currently it is only one entry so i can visually uh, find out that but let's say if i'm working on some application that will have already some huge entries into the database right this is just a freshly installed application so i don't have any entry created but uh, yeah so that's the reason we are going to search it enter some uh, id or whatever task name and search it i'll get the data in tabular format over here i'll verify that once it is done uh, this particular application have some database in backend i explained the same thing in my second video of this framework development series advanced level so the database what i have is mysql database I am accessing that using PHP my admin and uh, the database name is qdpm underscore qa okay so this is my database qdpm underscore qa and it has the uh, lot many tables so out of that we will go to task table and here we will verify the entry for uh, data what we have created okay so yeah so these are the steps and uh, without further delay let us start working on it so first step is login so uh, yeah and one more thing is what i told you is this is going to be data driven test case so for this data driven test case i have already prepared some data okay so if i show you this is my test data and you see i have two entries over here so in real time it is going to be whatever 10 50 entries uh, based on your scenarios based on your data combinations in my case just for demo purpose i have picked couple of where my uh, objectives are different in first case i am creating task with open status second case i am creating defect with reopen status so you see i, I have just filled up some data and i am going to use it okay so uh, let's go and uh, start creating our test case so i'll go to my eclipse okay and under advanced level framework i'll go to my source test java tests and this is my test case okay i'll, I'll rename this test case after some time but for now let it be okay now uh, i all uh, a data driven test case uh, we are going to talk about data driven test case so in my previous framework i already explained about data driven framework creation so there is a five to six video so if you go to my youtube channel and look for the basic level framework development course where you will see uh, some 
20-25 videos out of that 5-6 videos are for data driven test case creation which are explained in very much detail. So what I'm going to do in this video I'm going to borrow most of the code out of that. Okay so uh, if I go to the test case from my basic level course so I'll go to source test java and here it would be not this one it would be here. Okay so you see I'm using something called as data provider okay and for using the data provider what we are doing is we are trying to get the data from excel spreadsheet okay so getting the data from excel, excel spreadsheet we'll talk after some more time but for now let us create one uh, test case skeleton okay so uh, for now i will just comment out this uh, second test case okay and uh, i'll just uh, create the test case number one okay so login we already did okay so the the only thing is this uh, credentials i need to parameters which are present into the excel spreadsheet that i will do after some time okay after login what i need to do is i need to check check if dashboard page opens okay so this is my second steps okay and after i check that what my third step is going to be click on click on add task and or at, at a high level I'll mention add task okay this is my step number three and once the task is added I'm going to verify task verify task on UI and finally I'm going to verify DB okay so these are at a high level five different steps login is something I have already done now I'll check if dashboard page is opened okay now dashboard page is something uh, this one okay once I log in it will show this dashboard page right now I want to verify okay if this dashboard page is open that means I can confirm uh, user is logged in okay now uh, this for this dashboard page uh, we already created some page objects if I go to page objects there is some page called as home page objects and on home page objects we did created a uh, lot of uh, locators okay but as I did last time we are not going to use the locators in page factory pattern uh, that disadvantage I already told that might be possible by following some different technique but I don't want to go in that way I don't want to explore more on that but uh, yeah you can you can you can find out if you if, if you see any other way but this is what I thought as of now so I'm using that so okay and from this home page what and all methods we need basically we just need this kind of add click on task and click on add task or maybe click on users and click on add users or uh, the one I what I need is check if dashboard uh, item is displayed right what my task is my task is to verify if dashboard page is open so what i'll do is i will just check if this dashboard dashboard text is displayed so that i will confirm that uh, dashboard page is open and user is logged in right and where it is it is going to be under home page objects right on under home page objects you see a sidebar menu for dashboard this is what we need right but instead of using this particular way what we are going to do is we are going to use by class by by uh, and this is going to be sidebar menu dashboard is equal to new uh, sorry is equal to by dot I am using xpath and my xpath is going to be this one and uh, so I don't want this one great okay and regarding all other stuff like uh, projects add project we've all I really don't need these things right and why I'll tell you uh, if you remember in in the same video we did created a couple of methods just to click on sidebar menu and I just need to pass the name of the menu that is whether you want to click on the project task whatever reports and all that's the just one method which is used to click on each and every action right if you want to click on sub menu then first you need to click on main menu and then sub menu for that as well we already have created the methods 
okay the only point is instead of driver what we need to use is we need to use driver factory the way how we access the driver dot uh, get instance dot get driver this is what i need to use at couple of more places here and here okay so these are the only three things what i need over here okay and uh, by using these particular locators uh, or i would say the first locator what i'm going to check is i'm going to check if dashboard uh, menu is displayed or dashboard page is open okay and if you remember uh, if i go to give me a minute if I go to my test base, not test base, if I go to action engine, we did already created one method just to check if element is present. Right. So uh, let me just quickly check. Yeah, that's the method. Right. So I'm going to use same method. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll say public void uh, check. I'm just going to give some method name uh, check if dashboard page is open something like that okay and uh, okay and under this method i am going to call this particular method is element present but for using this particular method i don't need driver for using that particular method what i need to extend is extends test space I can directly extend the uh, action engine as well, but uh, test base should be fine because test base, ulti test base ultimately extends your uh, action engine. Okay, and here what I need to pass is I need to pass my web element. What's my web element? My web element, uh, okay, I, I need to find out web element basically by using this particular by object, right? And how I can use that by object on my driver, right? What's my driver? My driver is this dot find element by okay by i already uh, have that right so my by is sidebar menu dashboard this is what my by is okay and what's my field name that is for reporting purpose i'll say dashboard menu or dashboard menu that's fine dashboard menu okay so this particular method will check if uh, this particular link is or this particular link is present okay and if you hover your mouse it returns me a boolean right and i just want to assert whether it is true or not right so i'll say assert dot assert true assert dot assert true and i'm expecting it as a true so this should work uh, okay and for this assert true as well i might have created a custom method because if you see for assert string uh, assert equal string i did created one custom method because most of the time we used to do the uh, string uh, assertion right so in the same way you can use the you can create the method for boolean assertion as well okay i didn't do that but that's fine that should be uh, okay but you can do that now if i go to my home page and yeah i already have this method now in order to access this method i need to create object of this home page objects i'll go here quickly and i'll say home page object home page is equal to new this and okay now by using this home page i should be able to check all this particular method check if dashboard items are displayed great now what next once i check it i need to add a task how to add a task in order to add the task first i should click on task and then i am going to click on add a task right that means uh, i should call the method uh, what's the method yeah this particular method click click on site sub menu right where i'm going to pass menu and sub menu okay and that could be accessible using home page object only because that's present on the same i'll say click on site sub menu what's my main menu my main menu is tasks my sub menu is add task 
let me check the spellings add a task and task okay should be good enough now by using this particular line i should be able to click on task and then i'll click on add task now this particular new task pop up will open where i just need to select my project okay so now this will come under new task page so for which now i'll i'll close my home page right so from home page that's it what i want from login page i already done and i don't want anything from test base i don't want anything uh for now i'll just comment out this tear down method just uh, i i want to keep it open and uh, fine now i'll go to task page object and on task page object uh okay did we have did we created uh okay let me check uh xpath for this project i'm just looking out if we already created locator for this okay and its name is its id is form project id form project id do we have form project id form project yeah we do have that right now i need to uh first select this project right now what i'll do is i will create one generic method public void uh, create task create task and under this create task method i am going to write my complete code okay what's the first thing i i need to do is i need to select value from drop down for this particular uh what i'll say uh web element right so now uh, if you go to action engine we already created uh, one method which is going to uh select drop down this is what right so what i'll do is i before that i need to extend extends test space okay so that i can call that method okay and here is my method and with the very first thing is i need web element what's my web element i can access the web element by using this by by object right so and i'm going to use uh, the same driver factory driver factory dot get instance dot get driver and if you are wondering why i'm using this way instead of simply using driver then probably you might need to look at uh, this series from start this is just for parallel test execution what we are doing okay web element i already got now this is the field name i'll call this particular field name as let's say uh, project project drop down new task project drop down i'll say new task project so this is something which will get into report okay and what's the text word that i need to select let's say i want to select the text called as new development internet internal site that is something what i need to select and uh, yeah that's it what it ask me it asked me to throw the exception should be good okay so as of now i'm hard coding the data okay but going forward we'll we'll get the data from either map or let's see how we plan for that and once let's say i select it as new development or internal site then i need to fill out some details that is uh, selecting drop down then whatever stuff right so the very first thing is i need to select the type uh, okay exactly same line i i should copy and this time i am going to type so for type task type right so for task type i already created uh, this particular uh by class object and i'll say what's that task type new task type okay and what and all options i should pick for that uh let me inspect and copy okay so let's say i want to pick it as a defect so i will pass that as a value okay great what next let's say i selected this name sorry type and then i want to uh, enter the name right now for entering the name we did already created one uh, custom method called as send keys send send keys custom right and what's my web element my web element is going to be uh, driver dot driver dot get instance dot find element by 
I'll change the by. It is for project name, sorry, task name. And this is what my task name web element uh, by class object is. And field name is task, new task name. New task name. And value to be sent is, let's say, I'll make it as a demo task one. Okay, great. Let's say I entered demo task one. Great. Now I want to select status, priority, label, and okay. So I'll, I'll just select these things. Meanwhile, I'll just pause this video so that uh, it will not in increase the size. Okay, so uh, to resume, what I did is so I did uh, used all the methods send keys custom, select drop down click custom and uh, as of now I am just hard coding all the data that is click on save button select uh, label select priority select status and all those stuff I am just hard coding as of now uh, then uh, okay let me go to my UI I did create a couple of methods I thought it shouldn't waste the time okay so once the task is created it will look something like this okay so I need to as I told you like for now i can visibly say that it is on row number one two three four whatever because it's very uh, less data what i have in fact only one or two records uh, but in real time we'll be having lot many records in the table where we can use this search functionality that option i have here right so what i'll do is i'll hover my mouse here right so to hover the mouse uh okay so i created one method called a search and verify task creation on ui where first step what i did is move to element if you remember we did created one custom method move to element and where we did use action class and javascript executor uh just to do a mouse over so that's what i did and uh, then i did a send keys once i do the mouse over i'll do send key on this field and then i'll click on search so that it will list only respective data i'm expecting only one data because let's say i'll create it based on the task name which i am expecting as a unique so and then once i click on that particular search button it will list me a table and in that table i'm going to do the verification so here in table table verification okay so now i want to verify data from this table and one important thing what i'm going to show you which should be very much new i believe to you because i didn't saw it anywhere on the internet so that is something i want to verify this value let's say demo task one based on the column name so let's say if i pass name to my method it should return me demo task if i pass status it should return me uh, the open status if i pass type it should return me this thing kind of hash map like how it works in hash map key value pair the similar stuff i'm not using hash map i'm just using one xpath okay so how i wrote xpath i'll create one separate method for this particular stuff because that would take a lot of time over here but yeah i did created one xpath which accept a column name and based on the column name it returns you certain text that particular text i am going to get out of this particular method and i am calling the, that particular method under my assert equal string and then it will compare my expected string and actual string and that's it that would be my assertion that will verify whether data is present into the table or not okay so as of now i'm just doing one verification for name but you can do all the verification for priority type and like whatever project and whatever you want okay uh, so for this demo purpose i'm just doing one verification now what i'll do is i'll quickly run it so home page click on sidebar click on uh, create task and search and verify uh, task okay so just give me a minute okay so uh, this search and verify task creation is called and as of now as i told i'm hard coding all the data looks like i need to create one more video for the same task because here i'm hard coding the data again i need to do the excel read and all those stuff so maybe i'll cover it in that that in next video for now i'm just going to save this and i'm going to run this particular test case just to see if whatever we created is working
looks like everything is working yeah it did search as well and let us check that particular x path now okay it is failing and why it is failing assertion okay yeah i got it so i did forcefully uh, put that wrong text let me go to my execution report okay and what i'm expecting is if you see the assertion okay i'm expecting demo task one but in actual it is task name okay because of that it got failed okay so you see the task name is demo task one but in my expectation i did hard coded it as a task name that's the reason it was failed but that should be fine we'll correct it we'll correct all this data so yeah i think that's it in this video in next video uh, what i'll do is uh, the last step we will add here is db verification part and after that uh, okay so next video i'll create for db verification and post that there would be one more video where i'll parameterize all this stuff and we will run it from data provider with the help of this excel spreadsheet data what we have here okay so yeah i think that's it i'm going to stop stay tuned thank you